What's up guys and welcome back to the vlog. I've got the R32 GTR here with me. It's in the garage. It's a bit sad. Just by the way, if you want to click off the video, this is an update video. Not much going to happen. GTR. Hmm. Bumper's off. Why is it off? Because I messed up. There's the bumper. Um, basically, there's a video I was filming, which I just haven't had the time to edit because there's so many parts to it. Um, <laughs> I was messing around with my anti-lag and deceleration backfires and whatever it sounds epic it's really cool i know a lot of people are going to say in the comment section oh it's not good for your turbos whatever whatever so what happened was some dude was behind me and he was filming me off his cell phone gave him a thumbs up he asked me to rev <laughs> started revving quite a bit anti-lag story happened and i built up some boost and i hit it quite hard and first my uh boost pipe on the cold side so on this side just blew off it actually blew down and it broke this under tray in half as you see it's all stuffed over there break the under tray it actually damaged the bumper but as well that one and then the car ran like absolute donkey shit black smoke white smoke whatever smoke was coming out the back and uh, I could barely drive every time I try to like floor it and give it a bit of power to just bog out and die uh, fix the pop the obviously it's not hard popping, it's got some big, um, whatever, it's not even silicon, it's like rubber. This guy here, I need to do some hard popping, but I made some, so I made some temporary beading, pop didn't have beading, and, uh, well, it looks like it'll stick on, I put some silicon as well, didn't have that before. Hopefully it doesn't blow off. The problem is now, it failed my spark plugs. I start the car, the car just wants to die out, and sounds horrible. You clean the plugs. I mean, I've done this already. I did this a couple of months ago. Because the other side blew off. You know, you fix one side, the other side breaks. I know I need hard piping. I just, I've been so focused on the RX-7. If you go look at, back at my videos, it's RX-7, RX-7, RX-7. It's just, mmm, GTR top. What else? I'll fix it in a minute, but uh, let me update you guys on a couple of things. One, um, MR2. I've started sanding it, like properly, like I've got my little sander block, whatever, uh, using different grades of sandpaper, and uh, I filled it, I filled it a while ago, I just didn't have time to sand it, so now I'm sanding it, I'm getting the front bonnet, bumper, fenders, and the lip resprayed. I've been talking about it for a while, I'm finally doing it, the car's no longer here, it's not at my house, and uh, it's going to get sorted out very, very soon. What I do have next door in the carport is the black RX-7 FD. It's actually the first time it's living in this house. I've never brought it here because I've never had space and other cars, well, took priority because they are better cars. And uh, the reason why it's here as well is, well, there's one, there's space. Two, the silver RX-7 is no longer here. If you missed out a couple of the videos, the silver RX-7 is sitting with Rust Tech Race Engineering up in Hillcrest. And uh, Russ and I are going to be building the down pipe, the mid pipe, uh, redoing the intercooler pipes, and making some cool brackets, doing it his way, the pro way, <laughs> the way it's supposed to have been done, not like what I do. And um, it'll be ready sometime in the future. R32 GTR, still doing my thing. I still plan on doing the single turbo story on the R32 GTR, just not right away. I want to get one car sorted at a time. And that's always been my downfall is I'll move and I'll do something on the MR2, then I'll do something on the on the R32 GTR. And I just want to focus, I want to get that RX-7 finished. But the GTR is here, it's in the garage. I'm going to do some maintenance uh, this coming week, the weekend. I got my oil, actually got two brand new oils, both are 10W40s and uh, I don't know, I'll just flip a coin and choose whichever one. Um, fuel filter, oil filter for it. Got two oil filters for it. And radiator flush and blah blah blah. Anyway. Now let's see how I'm going to do full maintenance on the car. And then, what am I going to be doing? Jumping around here. You see how my brain works. Jumping around here. RX-7 FD, the silver one. I've got a new steering wheel thanks to Ruiz in Cape Town. Huge thank you to him. I've got the, the smaller Ifony steering wheel. Currently I've got that touring wheel on which is massive and you know I'm a bigger guy. I battle sit inside the car with that wheel. And uh, his wheel is really going to help me so huge thank you to Reese for that. The wheel should be here next week. Obviously the car is not with me so I'm not going to throw it in the car just yet. What else? What else? What else? Uh, 
I was saying big single turbo on this car. I will be doing it, just not right now. I have that splitter pipe over there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the silver thing there. Basically what that does is, there you can see it a little bit better. It'll be able to allow me to run dual nav on a big single turbo. Now you wonder why I'm going to be going that. Because I want to go old school. I want to do the old school route. Apexy Power FC, dual MAF, I'll go for the, uh, well, there's something over there actually, uh, Z32 MAFs. Um, you know, all the good stuff when the cars was set up back in the day with like a T88, an old school type turbo. I don't know what turbo yet actually, probably a T88 or T78. And I'll do a T51R mod, so it sounds super cool. Uh, that is the plan. Alright, now, like I said, finish one car at a time, and that car is the RX-7, the silver RX-7. Anyway, enough talking, I'm going to get this car um, open and pull out the plugs. Hopefully start it up in the car's fine. If anyone's wanting to know, it's pretty simple to take the plugs out of an RB26. Oh, by the way, I've got a new table. Nice long one, where I can fit all my shit. That doesn't belong there, I need to pack stuff away. That doesn't belong there. The new shelving, the new shelving. Let me clean up all this crap. I wasn't cleaning up all now, but then I figured, let me make a video for you guys and fix this car. Stop being a lazy ass. Um, how do you do it? You take out all these little grub screws that are in here, and then you've got to take uh, all the screws that are off this distributor, unplug it, take the ground off that was on there, take this car off, that pipe, and then you pull the cover off. And you've got easy access to your plugs. See? Piss easy. There's the coil packs. Unplug, two screws, coil pack comes out, you got access to your plugs. Alright guys, that's it for the vlog. Change the plugs, car's running beautifully, I'm so stoked. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, it was a quick update video. See you all in the next one. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they blocking your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're trying to make it